I, I think K-State has evolved into a very, very positive environment from where it used to be. And, and I think that what has occurred is that it's been very positive for the university. Uh, there's been many, many good people here who saw it as an opportunity to make the university grow. The demographics of the state of Kansas have changed immensely from when I came. You know, Kansas used to be seven or eight percent minority counting all groups. Now it's almost 30 percent counting all groups. Uh, communities have changed radically. They're coming to this university to get an education. The job market is uh, absorbing their parents. They're able to afford places like this. And KU and K-State and Wichita are all adjusting to that particular population that's coming in. You can see it in the athletic program. The minority numbers are increasing each year, participating in a sports program, generating the revenue, filling up the stadium, you know, all that good stuff. When I came here, there wasn't a whole lot of color. You know, the color that you saw was, was athletic. You know, we had, we had football players, a few basketball players. Dr. Jim Boyer, Emeritus, was the first full professor of African-American color on this campus. He laid the foundations for me. And when I, when I, when I used me, generically me, from, from all blacks who came to this campus, he did things that, um, that laid a pathway for me to come and begin to do the kinds of things that, uh, that I did. I, I owed a debt of, of gratitude to, uh, to Dr. Boyer. That was a source of support because he would school me in terms of, you know, you gotta be aware of some things, whether you like them or not, they're part of reality. The reality is that there were three entities here. One being the life inside the College of Education a life outside of Blue Mott Hall in the general population of the university. Then there's the city of Manhattan. So there were three different segments that I had to understand. I think it should be told every day because our young brothers and sisters who are on campus now, they don't understand it. You know, if you mention, if you mention Jim Boyer, if you mention Vero Schweitzer, uh, the majority of students wouldn't know who those two individuals were. So it's important that, that they understand constantly that they have an opportunity because of those individuals who came, who came before them. It's not all about uh, Greek fraternities and, and uh, Black Faculty Staff Alliance and, and uh, Black Student Union. Those things are, are critical, they're important, but there are other things that preceded that to make those things happen. They need to understand that. They need to hear that history. There were about 40 or 50 black students at K-State when I got here. We were given the task of, of breaking in uh, the, the folks, getting a lot of the white, a lot of the white students. Uh, did not care about us coming uh, to K-State or competing. Those who were gave us some attention, uh, in, uh, in a lot of cases, they ended up talking very, very, very negative about uh, uh, calling us names. That, is, that, that happened while I was here. I had my, my teammates now, though, were, were, were all white. There was no black... Uh, athletes in football. I was the only black football player at K-State at the time I was here. That didn't bother me so much is that I'd been uh, accustomed to di different treatment and I'd challenge whoever it was. I wanted them to know that I had a piece of the uh, uh, experience here as much as, as much as they did. They'd call out names of, of uh, niggers, if you will. That was the experience we had. And we didn't let that get to us on a personal basis because uh, they didn't know us personally. So those were some experiences that we had to live and I was isolated uh, most of the time with students on campus. 
but we had a paternity and we had authority here at K-State back in those days. So we kind of segregated ourselves, if you will, because we didn't feel we, we, we needed any of those, those students. And we, we tried to let them understand that the uh, cost of uh, education was also expended by, by individuals. Uh, so I did get a, a scholarship. I played football, safety, and halfback, and so that uh, was all, all part of it. I graduated in 1954. I was already committed to coming back to K-State. When I came back uh, about 10 years later as an administrator, we went to, ended up doing a lot of visiting. Faculty accepted their tasks quite well. And so I didn't have any problems uh, uh, in the classroom. They didn't think much of uh, much of football players though, was the issue. You didn't know whether it was based on being a football player or based on being, being black. 